Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. Megan, we got the Brooks Ghost Max 2. Very exciting. I know, and mine is in a ghostly color, like the ones that you would put sheets over you at Halloween mm. and try to scare people. <laughs> did you do that often? You know, I did a couple Halloweens with that. It didn't really go over that well. <laughs> yeah, I have a similar color, but it, it's actually maybe like a bone. Um, I don't know, what would you call it? It's this? just dirty, dirty sheet. No, but it was never white. It's kind of like a bone rose. Yeah. I don't know, it's got a little bit of a hint. To Either it, way, I think cream. it's a great aesthetic. Yeah. I'm into it, I like it. Okay, so last year we had very nice things to say about the Brooks Ghost Max. I mean, we were kind of surprised how much we enjoyed running in it. Yeah, it was a very lovely shoe. And I guess the good news is not a ton has changed. Here's the old. I mean, it mostly looks like tooling to me. Yeah, so I guess the big update here is that there is now a new foam. So this is the DNA Loft V3. It's a nitrogen infused foam. So, you know, it's meant to be a little bit more bouncy, a little more responsive. Mm -hmm. How did you feel it felt on the roads? Again, this isn't a shoe that, like, when you think about the max cushioning, you think about that squish, the shoe doesn't really have a squish to it. It's more of a firmer, high stack, protective feel under your feet. I like how much uh, foam you have under the forefoot. I feel like your foot is very well protected in here. We're kind of jumping ahead to the midsole, but like this wide platform keeps the shoe really stable. So overall, I think it's a firmer ride for a max style shoe with that steady, sturdy base that you see here. And it, it doesn't really flex a ton through the run. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. I thought that they do have this nice like rocker, I think they call it glide roll technology. Um, so it, it you kind of have this like smooth transition while you're out on the roads. This foam, Definitely feels like it's a like you're saying it's kind of a dent. It's a little firmer, but it, it feels nice underfoot. But it's not going to be that max cushion, soft, squishy feel. Yeah, and I don't think I've had a Brooks upper that I didn't like. Yeah, this. I mean, I don't think it's changed much from the previous one. Um, it just feels like a very plush, uh, comfortable upper. I stuck with my normal women's seven and a half, uh, and I felt that that fit well. It accommodated my wide foot fine. So make it fit true to size for me. All Brooks uppers seem to be really dialed in this year, and this one's no exception. So you kind of mentioned it earlier, but there's plenty of foam underfoot. It's 39 millimeters in the heel, 33 in the forefoot, so a six millimeter drop. And there's plenty of rubber on the outsole. I mean, the durability is gonna be there. It, what did you think of the grip? Yeah, I mean, I think you're gonna get a lot, a lot of miles out of this. There's plenty of rubber coverage. The grip was really, it worked really well. I'm not sure I did any rain run, so I haven't like really tested it out, but on any of the docks or any of the surfaces I ran on, it was great. All right, so the question is, last year we gave really high marks to the Ghost Max, and this year, is this gonna be our top pick for uh, Max well, Cushion Trainer? So there's one spec we didn't mention yet, and that's the weight. Um, like I said, I have a women's seven and a half, which was 9.2 ounces or 261 grams. Mm -hmm. So that's that's pretty heavy. My size 10 and a half made came in at 11.6 ounces or 329 grams, which is on the heavier side. Like all the shoes this year are heavier than I've expected. Nimbus, this shoe, uh, I mean, the uh, all the Saucony Triumph, they're all getting up there. And now when people used to think, oh, the Ultra Boost was too heavy to run in for this type of run, now the Ultra Boost is a light one in the group weighing 10 and a half ounces. Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it is a heavier shoe, but honestly, I it didn't bother me out on the roads. It wasn't like I felt, oh, this is too heavy to be running in. It just, it falls into the heavier side. And I think the benefit to that is that you do have this very plush upper and you do have all of this foam. And so it's kind of like a give and take and yeah, it works Yeah, certainly out fine. it does work well. It feels fine underfoot, but we're talking about just easy recovery style runs. Yeah. And uh, it fits right into that category. But if you want a shoe that has a little more, I don't know, dynamic range, this probably isn't the one. I would have to agree with that. Um, the final note we have to say, this is going to be $150. Uh, it's available now, so. So that price is on the lower side of yeah. some of these uh, Max Cushion shoes, so that is on the plus. So Meg, you think it will get the top pick for Max Cushion shoe this year? 
I don't know about that, but I will give it a green light. I do feel like this is that really nice daily trainer. It's simple, but it's it's it works. I think that it'll make a lot of people happy. There's nothing like too exciting or flary about it, but it's just, it's a simple, nice shoe. Yeah, and I'd probably go with it over the traditional Ghost. So for me, I'll give it a green light as well. There's nothing I dislike about the shoe. Maybe if we could shave a couple ounces off, it'd make it nicer as far as being lighter through your stride. But overall, pretty stable ride, wide platform, plenty of stack, protective underfoot, the upper fits true to size, no blisters, no heel lift, everything was good. Yep, I agree. All right. All right, so the best thing you can do if you wanna help us out is obviously like and subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to 100,000, which is help us get pretty there. exciting for us. And then the other thing you can do is go to believeintherun.com and uh, sign up for the weekly email, which has a list of all of our reviews that week and videos. So it's one place to get everything you need. Yeah, we're also on Strava, Instagram, all the socials. So check us out. And the Drop Podcast and Feel, Feel for, for the Soul. So that's it. Anything else? That's it. All right. My narrow foot fit fine in here. That's a lot of Fs. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I appreciate you uh, telling us. No, that's all. Come on. What? <laughs> Sideways. What are you talking about? Uh, it just it spun out of control. <laughs> so the fit of the upper was fine for me. True to size. I'm glad that you were able to get your wide foot in there because it worked. <laughs> you don't like that? It worked for my narrow foot. <laughs> All right, I'll just say it one more time. Okay. So yeah, make the fit true to size for me. I mean, just slid right in. No. <laughs> why is this I don't, so I don't hard know. Today? I don't know why it's so hard. Hold on one second.